Hey, praise the Lord. Welcome to the Word Prophet channel. My name is Clinton. The Word Prophet channel is a Christian ministry that's dedicated to the service of teaching the Word of God to the people all over the world so that people can go back to the old paths, as the Bible says, and serve God in spirit and in truth, as Jesus commanded in John 4.24. You know, in this world, we've all been raised up in a Catholic world, whether we call ourselves Catholics or not. We've all been taught Catholic doctrine from our youth, from the time that we came into this world. And there are many traditions that many of us have received, believing those traditions to be Christian, when we have never really searched the scriptures and sought God on the matter. And I'd like to serve you with an example of something that will hopefully teach you something very valuable. Let's pretend for a moment that you and I belong to a denominational church, and that church is called a Christian church, and I'm the pastor of that church, and you asked me a question about why we do a certain thing. So I'm going to explain to you <clears throat> as the pastor of that church. Remember, this is an imaginary situation, okay? I'm going to explain to you as the pastor of that church, okay? So here's what we do. The Bible says that, uh, that Jesus Christ is the bright and morning star, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some paint, and we're going to make a big star on the ground. God is going to love this because he's the bright and morning star and we're going to do this to honor him. So we're going to make a big star on the ground. Yeah. And then, you know, the Bible says that God sits upon the circle of the earth, right? So because the Bible says God sits upon the circle of the earth, what we're going to do is we're going to make a circle around the star. Yeah. Part of my artwork. It's kind of primitive, but you get the idea. So we're going to make a circle around the star. Yeah, God's really going to be pleased with that. And this is all according to God's word, remember. Because Jesus Christ is the bright and morning star, and God sits upon the circle of the earth. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take and we're going to make candles, and we're going to put them all around the circle. Because Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. You see? And he said, I am the light of the world. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take candles which represent Jesus Christ being the light of the world and we're going to put those candles all around that star to honor God. Won't God be pleased? Won't God be pleased with our worship? Okay, if we do this, who are we going to be worshiping? Who are we going to be worshiping? Are we going to be worshiping Jesus Christ? No, we're not going to be worshiping Jesus Christ at all. We're going to be worshiping Satan, you see. But, Brother Clinton, all those things were from the Bible. Yes, they, they were based on things from the Bible, but they are not the Word of God. Okay, why do I say that? Well, you know, the Bible says in one place that Judas went out and hanged himself. And then the Bible says in another place, Go ye therefore and do likewise. But when the Bible says, Go ye therefore and do likewise, it was in a completely different context, talking about a completely different thing. And Jesus was certainly not telling anybody to go out and hang themselves. But if we take those two verses of the scripture and we stick them together and then we make up a story, it's really easy to deceive people who don't know anything about the Bible, you see. And so this religious ritual right here, which I as a pretend pastor in a, in a, in a hypothetical situation, I said, well, Jesus Christ is the bright and morning star, so let's make this star. And then God sits upon the circle of the earth, the Bible says, so let's make this circle. And then the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, so let's take candles and put them all around the circle. Um, to somebody who doesn't know anything about the Bible, that might seem logical. But if you know the scripture and you know what's going on, you know that if you did this, you would be worshiping Satan, right? So then why do people who call themselves Christians take a pentagram and put it on top of a tree and imagine that they are serving the living God. This is not a star. A star is a bright, shining, burning ball of gas. It's round. Okay, This is not a star. It is a pentagram. A pentagram is a five-pointed geometric figure that is used in witchcraft to call up devils. It is how people serve Satan. So why do people that call themselves Christians take a pentagram and elevate it to the highest level of the tree in their household to worship Saturn. And this is what they're doing. The Christmas festival is called Saturnalia. Saturnalia is what it was originally called. 
It's the exact same festival. If you'll look up Saturnalia, you'll see that all the traditions and all the things that surround Saturnalia are the exact same things that people do today for the festival that they call Christmas. May this message be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. And if you'd like to know more, visit www.swordofthevaliant.com and I'm going to leave a link below to an epistle called Is Christmas Christian? And I hope that it will be a blessing to you and may God bless you as you seek Him in His Word. The time is short and Jesus Christ said, they that serve the, excuse me, Jesus Christ said, they that worship the Father must worship Him in spirit and in truth.